Okay, so I had another question. What is better, rice milk or almond milk on a ketogenic diet? Let's talk about that. Well, the four most common types of milks that people drink, rice milk, almond milk, coconut milk, and just cow's milk, okay? So rice milk has 23 grams of carbs. Now I'm talking about unsweetened, okay? All of these are unsweetened. Of course, if they're sweetened, you know, I don't wanna evaluate them because they're gonna have way too much sugar. But look at how many uh, sugar grams, 10 grams of sugar in one cup. That's way too much. Almond milk has just one gram of carb and zero grams of sugar, which basically means less than one gram equals zero. Coconut milk has less than one gram of carb and less than one gram of sugar. Cow's milk has 12 grams of carbs and 12 grams of sugar. There's no fiber there to buffer that. So these are the two that are okay, but just realize also they put things in there like gargam and different thick thickeners. So if you have an allergy to those things, you know, avoid them. For the most part, they're fine, but these are the ones that are okay on keto because of the low amounts of carbs and sugar. All right, thanks for watching. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I wanna quickly comment on what we're gonna do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're gonna do things very differently. We're only gonna cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're gonna be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm gonna be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory and concentration that's gonna blow you away. And number two, I'm gonna show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time, all right? And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kind of just really slow, I'm gonna show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're gonna learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.